Hey everyone, it's Justine, and I told you this wasn't the end of Christmas cards. Today I'm guest designing for Gerda Steiner Designs, and if you're waiting on the prize winners for the 12 Days of Christmas series, I will be announcing those more than likely tonight or tomorrow morning. Alright, so I'm going to get started with a white circle die as well as this stencil from Tim Holtz, and it's a tree stencil. I'm going to be going in with some tumbled glass distress ink with a blending tool. And I'm not really too concerned, just coming in from all edges and just darkening up the background to create a sky. I'm not going to be blending multiple colors in this. All I want to do is just create a nice daytime look. I'm just going to add, using a white gel pen, a whole bunch of little white dots to look like snow so the background looks as if it was snowing. I'm keeping the stencil on just because it's easier. I'm going to remove the stencil as well as the mask and now you'll see I have this sort of background with a skating rink. So I'm going to be using the stamp set here and it is called Sportsy Santa and I'm going to be stamping that using Memento Black ink because it's a Copic friendly ink that's not going to bleed when I color. So I'm going to be coloring both the hat and the Santa and then I'm going to be cutting these out using my scissors. So you can see the colors that I'm using there on the side. I always go light, medium, dark, then back to medium and back to light. And I try to think of the, where the sun is going to be hitting him or where the natural light is going to be hitting him, which in this card would be from the top left. So I'm adding all of my shadows as to where shadows would normally hit. What's really important when Copic coloring is to not use the black marker when Copic coloring because it's a very overwhelming black. So you need to be coloring using some shades of gray instead. If you use black, it's going to wipe out all your lines and your stamp isn't going to be detailed and it never really looks all that nice. So it's important to just invest in a nice gray marker. They have several different tones based on what you want to be doing. I also added some very the lightest shade of gray to his beard and mustache because in reality, white would have shadows on it as well. And lastly, I'm just coloring in the hat and just getting everything ready and I'm going to be cutting them out and then simply assembling my card. So I'm going to grab a card base, that's an A2 card base that I'm going to make a top folding card. It measures 11 by 4 and a quarter inches and I fold it in half at 5 and a half on the long side. Then I'm simply going to assemble everything together. So I'm going to add my little circle background here as well as the Santa. And I am going to be having his hat look like it's flying off as because he's skating so fast. I think that's going to be really cute. And then I'm going to simply manipulate my sentiment so that it becomes a circle and I can stamp the Happy Holidays. The really cool thing about acrylic stamps or clear stamps is the fact that you can actually bend them and then attach them to your block and usually they stay put quite well so you can make a straight sentiment all of a sudden become a curvy sentiment like the one I showed here. Sometimes you have to use the circle to help you with your shaping. So I stamped the Happy Holidays in Memento Black ink but I didn't like the way that it looked. I thought the curve wasn't good enough. So what I did to fix my mistake is I decided to stamp it from the bottom this time and I'm going to cover my previous sentiment so I don't waste my card base with the design that I created. I'm going to be using some liquid glue to glue everything down. It just allows me a couple of seconds of play time in case I need to adjust anything, unlike foam tape or using tape runner which makes everything quite permanent very quickly. So now that I have that all done, I just wanted to add a little bit of embellishment, so I decided to go in with a couple of my Nouveau embellishments, and I'm going to be using them in both red and white. So what's really important is to just hold the bottle upside down for a couple of seconds to make sure that there's no air that's going to be in there so that all of your liquid is up at the top of the tube, and that way you'll avoid getting any air bubbles blowing out and then blasting the color all over your work surface, which has happened to me a couple of times in the past. So if you're a little bit nervous about doing this directly on your card, you could also do them on a piece of acetate and then wait for them to dry and glue them down with some glue dots, but I'm far too impatient for things like that, but although I think I would have saved a card or two in the past if I had done it that way. Thank you so much for watching. All the supplies used are listed in the video description below as well as on my blog and I'll be guest designing over at Gerda Steiner today if you want to check that out. Thanks for watching.